coming back to the winner's enclosure now for the New Zealand Sykes, the winner number eight, Micro Spot. Owned by BT Mitchell and WJ Cairns. A white and black bitch by Wendy's Legend out of Micro Midi and trained by Bruce Mitchell of Linwood. As soon as the box flew open, number eight, Micro Spot sped to the, the lead on the out, hit the front. Miss Cutie on the inside was trailing all the way and a bit of a challenge down the home stretch for Miss Cutie, but it was Micro Spot to win the New Zealand Sires Produce Stake. So uh, number eight, Micro Spot, all on us there. Miss Cutie tried hard. The favourite, trained by Max Matthews of Pataru, but just couldn't uh, overtake number eight, Micro Spot, on the home stretch. And number seven, Advanced Spot, trained by Carol Derrycourt, was third in. Terry Knight will have your uh, comments on race eight. Well, Murray, as I said before, we didn't know much about Micro Scott up here. Uh, I did mention the fact that she tried very well the last time she came up here. The whisper went out that she tried exceptionally well, but there was a, a problem the last time she came here. I'm, I'm not blaming her at all because she's done the goods today. She's really come out and shown Auckland exactly how quick she really is because that is the fastest time run this year. She's run 32.06 and a tremendous run, a very, very good run indeed. And, of course, when you've got the likes of Tivoli, Tom, Advanced Spot, Miss Cutie and various others, there's no two ways about it. When the South Island bring up a dog, beware, be careful, and... Jack, pretty awesome. Ken Laughter, JRG Lass. Just about set. Almost set here for race five. The hot favourite is our lucky sell from the North Island. He's placing the last couple in. They're having a bit of trouble here with Humbug Sonia, I think it is, but I think it's locked in now. The green light has gone through to the control tower. And the bunny set a motion, they're about to break, they're off and running. And our lucky cell began well on the outside. Going with it though is JRG Lass, our lucky cell heading for the front and getting there. They're followed by Son of Magic, a length and a half away round the outside. Pretty awesome, sticking to the rail is Canned Laughter. Two lengths back, Humbug Sonia getting back a bit now. JRG Lass has lost her place, being passed out wider by Flo Keto. And last of all is Waddy's one. But the favourite's the one to beat on the corner. Our lucky cell has got a break of three lengths. In fact, I don't think they'll get her. Trying hard now is Ken Laughter it coming well our lucky cell folding up and Ken Laughter grabbed it our lucky cell was second third home on the fence pretty awesome wide around Humbug Sonia they're followed by Son of Magic further back then was uh, Flo Keto and company there with Waddy's one well our lucky cell looked home halfway down the straight but it folded very quickly and Ken Laughter charged up on the outside of it and grabbed the lead so Ken Laughter three the white would get home to beat the favorite our lucky cell and uh, what do we call third after all that? It was a good finish, and I think it might have been pretty awesome in third place. So that, that'll make the trifecta too. Just stand by for the official placings to be confirmed. Uh, three, eight. And all confirmed in uh, race five, the second heat of the Lord Shannon Cup, the placing three, eight, and a dead heat between two and seven. After a length of delay, the uh, judges called a dead heat two and seven. So the winner number three, canned laughter, a brindle bitch by a way laughing at a La Charo owned uh, and trained by Bruce Mitchell of Limwood. Eight second, our lucky sell. Uh, look, the winner swinging for home, but just couldn't hold off that strong challenge of uh, canned laughter. And our lucky sell is trained by G.S. Lozell of uh, Litchfield. And uh, the dead heat is pretty awesome, trained by Dave Bush of Cust and Flo Keto by Pat Martin of Hornby. $5.50, $2.25, the dividend for canned laughter. Number eight, our lucky sell, $1.40. For Quinella, $5.60, $5.60. The two trifecta, $74.65, the 382 trifecta, and the 387 trifecta, $84.65. And the treble on races 3, 4, and 5, $44.85. And that's the confirmed result of the second qualifying heat of the Lord Shannon Cup. This Mike Respond and Misty Anna and Beju's mate. They're all set. Uh, Mike Respond's the favourite, 210. The green light has gone through to the control tower. The bunny has set a motion. They're about to break in the Column Council Memorial. All set. They're ready and racing now. Misty, she jumps beautifully. Goes straight to the front. They're followed out then quickly to by Beju's mate. About three lengths away, Mr. Kiwi Mora. Micro Spot's making ground on the inside. It's going to make a race up with the uh, two big guns in front. So down the back they go. Misty's in front. By about two and a half, Beju's mate. Micro Spot, she's unwinding. Three lengths to Mr. Kiwi Mora. Four lengths back, Singing Bing. Further back behind Singing Bing, then to uh, Mickey Mickey Kibbit around the bend. Misty's still the one to beat. Beju's mate, Micro Spot 
starts flying, but it's going to be too late. Misty in front from Bijou's made a Misty Anna all the way. Misty Anna win number 48 on the board. Bijou's made second, Micra spot third. Three links to Singing Bing. They're followed by uh, Mr. Kiwi Mora, Mickey Mickey Keg, Ringmaster never in it, and the for Dynasty was back near the tail. Mr. Misty Anna win number 48 tonight, and uh, that brings it closer to the $100,000. Misty Anna, all the way. She jumped beautifully out of the boxes and uh, she held Bee Juice Maiden and uh, Micra Spotted Bay. Misty Anna, the winner. And all confirmed in the Collin Council Memorial Stakes Race 7, 2, 1, 7 are the numbers. Two of the checks, Misty Anna, the winner. Win number 48 and $93,000 in prize money. She's been a grand little bitch and Misty Anna is of course a brindle bitch by Wendy's legend out of Wingatui Lass, is owned by Jay Wilson and C.M. Wilson, trained by John Wilson of Mosgill. Second place has gone to one Bee Juice mate, uh, trained by Bob Neal of Wollstone, and seven third micro spot, trained by Bruce L Mitchell of Limwood. The winner, uh, Misty Anna, $2.35 and $1.30, $1.95 for one Bee Juice mate, the Quinella, $4.30, $4.30 the Quinella, and the 217 trifecta, $15.30, $15.30. A neck, one and a half length, seven lengths, 33.28 the time, a good time. That's the details of the Collin Council Memorial Stakes Race 7. The green light has gone through to the control tower. The money is set in motion. They're about to break and race five third of the treble. All set. Ready. And racing, it missed the jump a bit, Micra Spot. The best out, Cascade Havoc, and they're followed by Jeff Ropez going up on the outside. Now Micra Spot gets a glorious run through on the inner. A length and a half, Aqua Jewel. They're followed then by Froth, and back behind those then is uh, Noble Farewell, and the tail ender is Mr. Kiwi Mora. Cascade Havoc's in front, a length and a half, Micra Spot looking to get through. A length and a half, Jeff Ropez coming into it. Four or five links back, Aqua Jewel on the corner, and Cascade Havoc now claimed by Micra Spot. Cascade Havoc pulling out a bit more, Micra Spot trying to get to a cascade, micro spot, micro. Oh no, it's very close, very close. The head up and head down, micro spot the inside, and cascade havoc the other. There's only a nose between them, Jeff Ropez and Froth coming home pretty well. It'll be at photo for third as well. Then Noble Farewell, made by Magic, Mr. Kiwi Mora back with Aqua Jewel. Oh, this is close. This is very close. Uh, I thought Micra Spot was going to make it about 10 metres from the post. It pushed its way through, but Cascade Havoc has kicked again on the outer. There's nothing in it. There is absolutely nothing in it. And confirming the midwinter stakes, race five here was a, a great finish, but uh, the placings are three, one, and eight. Three, Micra Spot, the winner, beating one, Cascade Havoc. They had a great duel up the straight, and uh, number eight, Jeff Ropez, back in third place. The only bloke that wouldn't be worried about the finisher uh, is Bill Cairns, because he's got a share in both of them. Uh, uh, well, he owns Cascade Havoc outright, and he's got a share with uh, uh, Micra Spot, so uh, he wouldn't be too worried. But anyway, Micra Spot got there by a nose and paid $1.45 for the win and $1.25 for the place. One Cascade have a gallon and defeat, $3.05. The Quinella, uh, one and three, five dollars ten. The three one eight trifecta, seventeen dollars and thirty cents. A nose by four by a half, thirty-four twenty-two the time. Good win there, Micro Spot. That's the official result of race winter stakes. Just about set here, race six at uh, QE2. They've made Nursery Man the favourite, uh, staying with him after his recent good form. He draws the outside. Wendy's Pell's the second favourite, just about ready. He's having a bit of trouble here with Amazing Olga, I think. Now, now they've got it in. They're all set. The green light has gone through to the control tower. The money is set in motion. They're about to break in race number six. All ready. And racing, uh, Wendy's pal jumped well with Cheetah Houdini and on the rail level on last. Nursery Man showing a lot of speed wide on the track. Can he get them around the first bend? Nursery Man, he goes up and heads them off now. So the favourites in front down the back, Nursery Man by a length and a half ever on last. Two lengths away, Amazing Olga. They're followed then by Cheetah Houdini. Back on the outside of that is Can Laughter. Back behind those then to Southland Star and tailed off now Dolly's Moon. Up to the turn though, Nursery Man, he's galloping well. He's four in front, trying hard, Amazing Olga, Nursery Man in front.
front, Amazing Olga's trying to pick it up, but too strong is Nursery Man. And Nursery Man by two, Amazing Olga. Flashing into third, Wendy's Pell wide out. Then Canned Laughter. Followed home, then three lengths back by Avalon Last. Back a bit behind those, then She's a Houdini. And uh, Southland Star, one of the last ones home. Too strong, the favourite. It was a good run. A pink nursery man, the winner. He uh, showed all of his speed to go up and around them at the first corner. I was just a bit worried whether he was going to get round them at that point, but uh, oh, he showed great acceleration and he was away for the prize. A pink nursery man, no worries. A very impressive run after starting from box eight. Uh, showed a lot of acceleration around the first turn and kicked to the front and uh, went on to win it. Uh, nursery man, a brindle dog by juvenile mate out of Tagimi Ace. Owned by the Rolleston Road uh, Syndicate. I think a couple of trotting boys are in this uh, grey hunt. I know that uh, Kevin McClintock's one of them, and I think he'll be wrapped with the run today. Five with second, Amazing Olga, trained by Dave Kingston of Belfast, with Wendy's Pal coming home particularly well for third, trained by Pat Cagney of Kaipoi. The winner, number eight, Nursery Man, the favourite, 245 and 175. Five, Amazing Olga, 225. The Quinella dividend for that pair, $6.05. And the trifecta, $19.25. A length and a half, three and a half, three quarters, $34.90 uh, the time. All honours with the winner, Nursery Man. That's the result of the improver stakes. And the bunny set a motion that are about to break in race five. Ready? And racing. And from the inside, Kiwi Swinger jumped well, but not as quickly as Puppy Love goes. Gone up on the outside and hit of the morph, and then she's a Houdini getting through Prince Havoc near the rail. Back behind the Magic Count, Pretty Awesome's got back just ahead of it. Can Laughter and the tail ender on the fence is advanced four. Down the back they go, and Prince Havoc has slides through now on the inside and takes over from Kiwi Swinger. They're followed, uh, Pretty Awesome's running on strongly just ahead of that, though. On the outside is uh, Puppy Love around the bend. They come, Prince Havoc's got a nice break. Puppy Love, Pretty Awesome's running on late and so too can laughter but it's all Prince Havoc and Prince Havoc wins it well second puppy love third pretty awesome three lengths away advance four coming home well can laughter and on the fence Kiwi Swinger a little break back we have uh, she's a Houdini and tailed off in the race was Magic Hound Race five you'd find that uh, the favorites got home Prince Havoc two checks Prince Havoc is first beating uh, six the brown puppy love and four blue pretty awesome third two six and four And completed details now, the Progressive Stakes race number five. The numbers are two, six, and four. Prince Havoc, the winner of Black Dog by Club's Colours at Aira's Havoc. It's owned by Effie Cairns and trained by the owner of Oxford. Number six has run second, Puppy Love, trained by Adelaide Jobson of Parklands, with full third, pretty awesome, trained by Dave Bush of Cust. The winner, number two, Prince Havoc, has paid $2.80 and $1.75. $2.80 and $1.75. Number six, Puppy Love, $9.90, $9.90. The Quinella, $38.75. And the 264 Trifecta, $210.15, $210.15. Hot favourite, uh, Micro Spot, first leg of the Daily Double. And the green light has gone through to the control tower. The bunny has set a motion. They're about to break. All set. Ready and racing, uh, jumping well Aqua Sport and also showing speed Venetici is followed by Microspot's got up the second place round the first turn and starting to rail, they're followed round the outside by Gen uh, by uh, uh, by uh, Genesis Girl it is, getting through on the inside Amazing Olga and out wider on the track then past the rest, but down the back little Microspot, now she's exploded, away she goes by four or five, Venetici they're followed by Genesis Girl sticking on there and trying to come through Aqua Sport but up the straight it's a one dog affair Micro spots home for the money by 10 links. Second home is Venetti. Oh, no, wait a minute. Equus Sport flying. Got up for second. Right on the line. Got up the nose out, I think, Venetici. They're followed then by out wider on the track. Susie Sapphire was also coming home well and up against the rail. Amazing Olga. Then past the rest. Saneri never got into it. And Genesis Girl. And uh, wrapping the Ronnie O'Laurels of 1992, the numbers six, one, and three. Six, the brown micro spot. And uh, isn't she a good little bitch? She's a black and white bitch by Wendy's legend out of Micro Millie. 
owned by Bruce Mitchell and Bill Keynes. It's trained by Bruce Mitchell at Linwood. And uh, very good performance backing up after its uh, smart win at Wellington during the week at Microspot, uh, just in a class of her own today. One Aquasport uh, ran second, a good run. Aquasport trained by John Good of Rangiora with three wide Venetici, third trained by uh, Bob Smolensky of Whedon's. Bijou's mate, Miss Cutie and Jethro Piers, set for the running with the 1992 Wellington Invitation. Good luck to you all. Bunny set on its journey. Heads up towards the boxes. Just about there. Ready and racing. Miss Deanna, the favourite, steps out in about third posse, bouncing out is Jethro Pez from Microspot, followed the inside there by Cascade Havoc. Further back in the field, there we go to Bijou's mate, that's followed there by Miss Cutie, Miss Nevada. On its inside there is Miss Deanna and last Taratai King. Down the back they go and Jethro Pez away by a length and a half on Microspot. Bijou's mate, Cascade Havoc, Miss Deanna can't win. In front of that there we've got Miss Cutie, Miss Nevada on the corner and here comes Little Micro, the magic. Microspot will get the money, good. Good run. Then we've got a photo. Bijou's mate and Jethro Pez almost a dead heat. Then we go to Miss Cutie, Miss Deanna. That's been followed back on the field there by Cascade Havoc, Miss Nevada and Taratai King. Number eight, Micro Spot the Money. Got an official from the judge, 8, 6, 2, 4, 1, 3, 5 and 7. Two lengths, a half head, three and a half lengths, 30.65. Number 8, micro spot, $3.95 and $2 even. Six Bijou's made a brave run, $5.10. Six eight Quinella, $29.30. Trifecta, 8, 6 and 2, $213.00. The double, three with eight, $2.45. Returning to scale, number eight, Micro Spot, by Wendy's Legend from Micro Millie, a white and black bitch. She only weighs in at 24 kilos. She's just a little a little wee bitch, this one, owned by Bruce Mitchell and Billy Cairns and trained by Bruce Mitchell. I think Bruce uh, now residing in Rakaia. So a top run uh, once again. Bruce, she jumped out well for you this afternoon. Uh, she jumped out in second posse. And uh, from there on, she looked as though she was going to challenge hard Jethro Pears, and she did exactly that. Pulled out too many stops at the business, and she's gone away to score by two lengths from uh, the fast-finishing Bijou's mate, and uh, Jethro Pears just getting nutted out for that second money. $3.95 and $2 even. $5.10, $29.30. Trifecta, $213. The double, $2.45. Favour in the event was five Miss Deanna. She jumped out in about fourth posse. Got a little bit of a checkered passage going into the first bend, but she never kicked as well as we thought she might have this afternoon, Miss Deanna, and she's finished in seventh posse.